Hello viewers, this is Wagda Ronal taking you through the tutorial on, on three-dimensional vectors. So we shall start with Cartesian unit vectors. First of all, a unit vector is one whose magnitude is one unit. So if I tilde is the unit vector in the direction of the x-axis, j tilde, so this symbol is called tilde, is the unit vector in the direction of the y-axis and k tilde is the unit vector in the direction of the z-axis. It implies that a, sorry, i tilde has coordinates 1, 0, 0, j tilde has coordinates 0, 1, 0, and k tilde has coordinates 0, 0, 1. And therefore, it, they can be pre represented on the x, y, z plane as shown below. So in this case, remember i is along the z x-axis and it's one unit. So from here to here, that will represent i tilde. j is along the y-axis and it's one unit. So from here to here, to represent j tilde. Similarly, k is one unit along the z-axis. So from here to here, to represent k tilde. So those are the i, j, k, and that's what we shall be dealing with in three-dimensional vectors. So. The position vector of a point P, which is 4, 3, 2, is den denoted by P tilde or OP, is given by 4i, 3j, and 2k. So 4i means you move 4 units along the x-axis, 3j means you move 3 units along the y-axis, and 2k means you move 2 units along the z-axis. So it can also be represented as a column vector in this form. So 4, 3, 2. So let's try to locate that point on the x, y, z axis. So these are the x, x y, z axis. With the position was 4i, 3j, and 2k. So we shall move 4i along the x axis, then 3j along the y axis, and 2k along the z axis. So this is the final position of P, and OP is our position vector of 4i, 3j, and 2k. Now let's go to addition and subtraction of vectors. When adding or subtracting two vectors, we must add or subtract corresponding components. For example, if A, vector A is A1, A2, and A3, and vector B is b1, b2, b3, then a plus b will give you a1 plus b1 to give you that, then a2 plus b2 to give you the j component, and a3 plus b3 to give you the k component. Similarly, when you are subtracting an a1 minus b, sorry, a minus b, we shall get a1 minus b1 to give you the i component, a2 minus B2 to give you the J component and A3 minus B3 to give you the K component. So let's try to go through this problem. Given A, vector A equal to negative 1i plus 2J plus 3K and vector B is equal to 4i minus 5J plus 6K, determine the value of A plus B and a minus b so we shall first express vectors a and b in column form so a is this and b is that when we add the two shall add the i components negative one plus four to give you that which results to three then two minus two plus negative five to give you two minus five which is negative three three plus six to give you that which is nine Therefore, this is the value of A plus B. For A minus B, we shall subtract the 2, so negative 1 minus 4 to give you that, which is negative 5. 2 minus negative 5 to give you 2 plus 5, which is 7. 3 minus 6 to give you this, which is negative 3. So those are the values of A plus B and A minus B. Now we shall go to scalar multiple of a vector. To find the scalar multiple of a vector, we simply multiply each of its components by a scalar. Suppose A 
vector a is equal to a1 a2 a3 is a is a vector and lambda is a scalar then remember scalar means a constant value so when you are multiplying a vector by a scalar this scalar will multiply each component so it will multiply the i component to give you lambda a1 multiply the j component to give you lambda a2 and also multiply the k component to give you lambda a3 similarly if you are dividing the scalar will divide each component so lambda will be divided by that to give you that a1 over lambda a2 over lambda and a3 over lambda so we shall use that knowledge to go through the problem below given a vector a equal to negative i plus 2j plus 3k and vector b equal to 4i minus 5j plus 6k determine the values of 4a plus 3b and negative 3a minus 2b so you shall have to first express vector a and vector b in column form so this is a column vector for a column vector for b they said 4 multiplies by vector a so 4 times multiplied by vector a 3 multiplies vector b so 3 multiplies vector b what shall we get so 4 will go through all the components of a and 3 will go through all the components of b for the i part this will be negative 4 4 times negative 1 to give you negative 4 then 3 times 4 to give you 12 when you add the 2 you come up with 8 then for the j part 4 times 2 will give you 8 and 3 times negative 5 will give you negative 15 so 8 minus 15 will give you 7 for the k component 4 times 3 will give you 12 3 times 6 will give you 18 so when you add the 2 will come up with 30 so 4a plus 3b will give you 8i minus 7j plus 30k then let's go to the next part which is negative 3a minus 2b so negative 3 multiplies through all the components of a and 2 multiplies through all the components of b so negative 3 by negative 1 will give you positive 3 negative 2 by 4 will give you negative 8 so we'll get 3 minus 8 which is negative 5 negative 3 by 2 will give you negative 6 negative 2 by negative 5 will give you positive 10 so negative 6 plus 10 will give you 4 negative 3 by 3 will give you negative 9 negative 2 by 6 will give you negative 12 so negative 9 minus 12 will give you negative 21 so those are the vec that is the vector for negative 3a minus 2b so now let's go to magnitude of a vector the magnitude of a vector is also known as the modulus or length of a vector it is noted by the symbol this therefore in general vector p which is equal to a b c this magnitude can be given by a squared plus b squared plus c squared everything under root so now that we know how to get the magnitude of a vector we can be able to find a unit vector a unit vector remembers the vector whose magnitude is equal to one the symbol to denote unit vector is this so this cap is what denotes the unit vector so this a cup this is pronounced as a cup and is it denotes the unit vector of a which is given by the formula a cup equal to vector a divided by magnitude of vector a so shall go through this problem given vector a equal to 4 negative 12 3 for, sorry 4 negative 12 negative 3 determine the value of this which is the modulus or magnitude of a and hence this which is the unit vector of a so magnitude of vector a will be given by a 4 squared plus negative 12 squared plus negative 3 squared everything under root so we'll come up with 13 and that will be the magnitude then the unit vector we know the formula that vector a divided by the magnitude so this is vector a this is the magnitude you divide and that will be your answer 
so that brings us to the end of our lesson thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel roa e-learning platform